In the battle against lung cancer, two superhero drugs have emerged. Keytruda and Opdivo. These immunotherapy treatments are revolutionizing the way we fight this formidable disease, offering hope to patients and their families. But which one is the ultimate champion? In this video, we will compare Keytruda and Opdivo, examining their effectiveness, side effects, and cost. Understanding Lung Cancer and the Need for Immunotherapy Lung cancer is one of the most prevalent and deadly forms of cancer worldwide. Traditional treatments like surgery, chemotherapy, and radiation have long been the mainstay, but they often come with significant side effects and limited success rates. This is where immunotherapy, particularly Keytruda and Opdivo, steps in to provide a promising alternative. Immunotherapy works by leveraging the body's immune system to target and destroy cancer cells. Unlike traditional treatments that directly attack the tumor, immunotherapy enhances the body's natural defense mechanisms. Keytruda and Opdivo belong to a class of drugs known as checkpoint inhibitors, which target specific proteins that cancer cells use to evade detection by the immune system. By blocking these proteins, Keytruda and Opdivo unleash the immune system's full potential, allowing it to recognize and attack the cancer cells. How Keytruda Works in Treating Lung Cancer Keytruda, also known as pembrolizumab, has been a game-changer in the field of immunotherapy. It works by targeting the PD-1 protein, which is responsible for inhibiting the immune response against cancer cells. By blocking PD-1, Keytruda essentially removes the breaks on the immune system, allowing it to launch a robust attack on the cancer cells. Clinical trials have shown impressive results with Keytruda in treating lung cancer. In a study involving patients with advanced non-small cell lung cancer, NSCLC, Keytruda demonstrated significantly higher overall survival rates compared to chemotherapy alone. The study revealed that patients receiving Keytruda had a median overall survival of 12, 7 months, compared to just 8, 5 months with chemotherapy. Keytruda has also shown efficacy in patients whose cancer has progressed despite prior treatments. It offers a beacon of hope for those who have exhausted other options. However, it is important to note that Keytruda may not be suitable for all patients, and individual factors need to be considered when determining the most appropriate treatment plan. How Opdivo Works in Treating Lung Cancer Opdivo, or nivolumab, is another checkpoint inhibitor that has made significant strides in the treatment of lung cancer. Like Keytruda, it targets the PD-1 protein to unlock the immune system's full potential. By doing so, Opdivo allows the immune system to recognize and attack cancer cells that would otherwise evade detection. Clinical trials have demonstrated the efficacy of Opdivo in treating lung cancer. In a study involving patients with advanced NSCLC, Opdivo showed improved overall survival rates compared to standard chemotherapy. The study revealed that patients receiving Opdivo had a median overall survival of 12, 2 months, compared to just 9, 4 months with chemotherapy. Opdivo has also shown promise in treating patients who have previously received chemotherapy. In a study involving patients with squamous cell lung cancer, Opdivo demonstrated a significantly higher objective response rate compared to docetaxel, a commonly used chemotherapy drug. The objective response rate was 20% with Opdivo, compared to just 9% with docetaxel. Keytruda vs. Opdivo, Efficacy and Success Rates When it comes to comparing the efficacy and success rates of Keytruda and Opdivo, it is important to consider the specific type and stage of lung cancer, as well as individual patient characteristics. Both drugs have shown remarkable results, but certain differences exist. In advanced NSCLC, Keytruda has demonstrated higher overall survival rates compared to chemotherapy alone. However, Opdivo has also shown significant improvement in overall survival rates, making it a viable alternative for patients who may not be suitable candidates for Keytruda. Ultimately, the choice between Keytruda and Opdivo may depend on individual patient factors and the recommendations of healthcare providers. Keytruda vs. Opdivo, Side Effects and Safety Profile While Keytruda and Opdivo have brought new hope to the treatment of lung cancer, they are not without side effects. It is important to weigh the potential benefits against the risks and consider individual patient factors when deciding on the most appropriate treatment. Common side effects of Keytruda include fatigue, cough, rash, and diarrhea. In some cases, Keytruda can lead to more serious side effects, such as pneumonitis, inflammation of the lungs, or immune-mediated colitis, inflammation of the colon. It is crucial for patients to be closely monitored for any adverse reactions and to report any symptoms to their healthcare providers. 
Opdivo also has its own set of side effects, which may include fatigue, rash, nausea, and decreased appetite. Like Keytruda, Opdivo can also lead to more serious side effects, such as pneumonitis or immune-mediated colitis. Regular monitoring and open communication with healthcare providers are essential to manage and address any potential side effects. Keytruda vs. Opdivo, Cost and Availability Another crucial consideration in the Keytruda vs. Opdivo debate is the cost and availability of these treatments. Both drugs are expensive, and access may be limited for some patients. It is important to work closely with healthcare providers and insurance companies to explore options for financial assistance or alternative treatment pathways. Keytruda and Opdivo are both approved by regulatory authorities for the treatment of certain types and stages of lung cancer. However, the availability of these drugs may vary depending on the specific healthcare system and country. It is important for patients to consult with their healthcare providers to determine the availability and accessibility of these treatments in their region. Keytruda and Opdivo Combination Therapy In recent years, researchers have explored the potential benefits of combining Keytruda and Opdivo in the treatment of lung cancer. This combination therapy aims to maximize the immune system's response by targeting multiple checkpoint proteins simultaneously. Preliminary studies have shown promising results with Keytruda and Opdivo combination therapy. In a study involving patients with advanced NSCLC, the combination treatment demonstrated a higher objective response rate and longer progression-free survival compared to either drug alone. However, further research is needed to fully understand the potential benefits and risks of this approach. Keytruda and Opdivo, Patient Testimonials and Real-World Experiences Beyond clinical trials and scientific studies, it is important to consider the experiences and testimonials of real patients who have undergone Keytruda or Opdivo treatment. These first-hand accounts provide valuable insights into the potential benefits, side effects, and impact on quality of life. Many patients have reported significant improvements in their condition and quality of life with Keytruda or Opdivo. Some have experienced remarkable tumor shrinkage and prolonged survival, while others have found relief from debilitating symptoms. However, it is important to remember that individual responses to treatment can vary, and not all patients may experience the same level of success. Conclusion. Choosing the right immunotherapy for lung cancer. Keytruda and Opdivo have revolutionized the treatment of lung cancer, offering new hope and improved outcomes for patients. Both drugs have shown remarkable efficacy in clinical trials and real-world experiences, but individual factors must be considered when determining the most suitable treatment option. Ultimately, the choice between Keytruda and Opdivo should be based on a thorough evaluation of the specific type and stage of lung cancer, individual patient characteristics, side effect profiles, and cost considerations. Close collaboration between patients, healthcare providers, and support networks is essential in making informed decisions and navigating the complexities of lung cancer treatment. As research continues to advance, the future of immunotherapy looks promising. Keytruda, Opdivo, and other emerging treatments hold the potential to further improve outcomes and transform the landscape of lung cancer treatment. With continued dedication and advancements in the field, we move closer to a future where lung cancer is no longer a formidable foe, but a conquerable adversary.